Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the light-mantled sussy albatross, small and dark seabirds that have a body form honed for rapid flight and manoeuvrability. I hope you enjoy. Light-mantled sussy albatrosses look very different from related birds, being brown and grey all over, being the palest on the upper side of their body and their mantle, with the contrasting dark heads. Their eyes also have a white crescent at the upper back edge. Weighing around 3 kilograms, males and females are similar in size and employ a variety of feeding strategies, including surface seizing, surface filtering, and plunging. Diving ability measured by depth gauges have revealed a maximum diving depth of around 12 meters in pursuit of prey, with them mainly feeding on squids, followed by fish and crustaceans, with there being a large variation in the importance of these two groups varying by breeding size. They don't follow ships as often as other albatross species do, although they don't typically encounter them due to them being most commonly found around the Southern Ocean, with a circumpolar breeding distribution. They also feed in less productive areas, and are not commonly found on shelf breaks or frontal zones. They breed on the Antipodes, Auckland and Campbell Islands, doing so in loose colonies or solitarily, unlike most other albatrosses that nest in dense colonies, usually doing so against rock walls for protection. They nest in mounds of peas and muds up to 30cm in height and 50cm wide at their base, sometimes incorporating plant material. Around October or November, birds lay a single egg, which is not replaced if lost. Both parents will incubate in shifts that vary from a day or two to up to a month in length, with the periods from hatching to fledging for the chick taking up to 140 to 170 days. Pairs will form committed pair bonds which may last for decades, with birds being known to live over the age of 40. Their population in New Zealand is estimated to be around 30% of the global population, around 6,800 pairs in total, although they are classified as near threatened due to long-line fishing activities and the impacts of introduced predators, although their frequency and impacts on them as a whole remains poorly known as of now. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the New Zealand Blue-Billed Duck, the only member of the widespread genus in the country, although because of their extinction, little is known about them. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.